Hey, what is up guys? This is Dexter here and welcome to something a little bit different. Um, we're kind of doing a little off-the-cuff thing here. Uh, I kind of wanted to try out some sort of like live shot camera footage video kind of thing. Um, because I want to make more videos, but the very long scripted videos take forever to make. So I was like, what can I do to maybe put out content more often? And this might be a good way to do it. So today what I want to do is I'm going to, you know, uh, go over near replicant because uh, let's just say I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh, people have been kind of raving about it and I just don't know why after 12 hours of playing. Uh, I haven't finished the game, full disclosure. Um, but I am... I, I just... I'm not impressed at all. So, let's kind of get into why that is. So, I guess before... Actually, before we get into that, I would say, uh, you know, I want to get the positives out of the way. There are many, but the... I want to get the positives out of the way. Actually, the only positive I'm really going to talk about is the music, because the music's freaking great. It's so good. Um, I it, it has all these really haunting melodies and, like, really beautiful vocals, and, you know, and it can be really badass when it wants to be. So, I'm really feeling it. It looks really great, and, uh, or it sounds really great. What, what am I talking about? Uh, it, it sounds really great, and... If the, the rest of the game was as good as the music, I probably would be singing a completely different tune right now. But I am uh, not doing that. So, yeah, I guess then to get into the nitty gritty of it, uh, I wrote down a few points here. So, I guess to kind of start things off, like to kind of divide it into the, into the pillars that I would usually use for a scripted video like this, um, the story. So... The story starts out kind of interesting, right? Like, you have this first encounter with all these monsters and, like, the which you'll know eventually are the Shades. And uh, you have the, the, the brother, Nier. Like, that's, like, the, the name the Phantom gave him, so I guess that's what I'm calling him. Uh, Nier and Yona <clears throat> are in this, like, weird, desolate area. Uh, he, they're both very wary of these tomes, which you'll later find out are like Grimoire Vice and Grimoire Noir, I'm pretty sure. So then first, you know, you have this time skip, the first one, and so that immediately raises a lot of questions because then the brother is looking for Grimoire Vice and uh, these sealed verses, this magic, even though in the flashback it was like, you can never trust these books or whatever, and you don't need to, you shouldn't get close to them or whatever the hell. And uh, that that was interesting. I was like, okay, where, where's this going, you know? Um, but then the, the game continues to answer none of those questions, which I'm sure will get answered eventually. But as of right now, that has not been touched upon as of yet. And so then the story kind of goes, devolves into this story about, you know, you need to save your sister, which would be fine um, if I cared about any of the characters. I'll go into that a bit more uh, in a sec. But then this story goes on to become like this story about saving your sister, which is fine um, as, as, a, as a plot setup, but it just doesn't do anything for me like the 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 things that kind of happen in the story it, it it all just feels unimportant it feels unimportant most of the most of the things that you know aren't like blatantly important just feel very disconnected from everything like it feels like you're going on a bunch of side quests obtaining these sealed verses like is about as unceremonious as it could be. I am just wondering, like, I, I just wonder why are we doing any of this? Like, why, why does this, or like, I guess the better way to put it would be, why doesn't any of this have more weight behind it? 
like, whenever a new party member shows up, so like Kaine or Emil, uh, it, it all just kind of happens. Like, Kaine just kind of shows up out of nowhere and she kind of just joins you because we need a JRPG party, I guess. And same with Emil, except I can like kind of buy it because he was like alone for most of his life. And so, you know, having friends or whatever, people who don't actually think he's weird or disgusting or whatever, would kind of be a big deal for him. But especially with Kaine, I just don't buy it. I just don't buy that she would go along with any of this. So then that kind of brings me to um, just a large problem that I have uh, in general. You know, when, when you have a story like this that's very personal, you need to care about the characters to make it work. And I don't. I don't care about any of them because it feels like either their growth uh, does not happen uh, there's not just there's just not a lot to them there's not a lot to their personality or uh, their motivations are just very weak I I just I don't I don't care so let's go over them uh, the main character near it's just about as bland and generic as it comes He's the, he's the goody two-shoes hero who needs to save his sister, and it's all kind of whatever. Um, like, the first time he has an outburst, you know, when the, the second time skip happens? Like, there's this outburst. I, I really don't want to even call it an outburst. It really was, like, him getting rightfully upset that, you know, his friends were being locked out of the village. And... Then he, like, goes on and profusely apologizes and, like, okay, like, dude, they're kicking your friends out for no fucking reason. Like, why are you, why are you apologizing? I don't understand. Anyway, so he's kind of like the goody two-shoes character. I don't really, I don't really know. I don't really care about him at all. And then you have Yona, which is his sister. And I feel like her defining personality trait is that she has a disease. And that is about it, because she doesn't do fucking anything either. Um, so, then we have Grimoire Vice, which is probably, like, one of the most fun characters in in the game. He's, like, these, you know, these really quippy remarks, and, you know, he's, like, uh, he's always, like, very sassy and stuff like that. Uh, that's fun. Still not a lot to him, though. Uh, I don't really get what this character wants. Like, why is... Why is he doing any of this? I don't understand. He... He seems like, you know, he gets friends with the, the, the main party kind of over time. And I'm like, okay, but... Why do you care about any of these people? We... Like, we don't see him really interact with anyone. And it's just like, he either is like being a sassy bitch, or... He just... I don't know. I just don't understand. I don't understand what, what's going on with him. Kaine is very fun when she's saying funny stuff. But other than that, again, she kind of just shows up and she joins you for no reason. I have no idea what she wants. I have no idea why she is coming along with me. Maybe there's something I missed there, but I don't know. I, I just don't think there's anything going on right now and then Emil Emil I can kind of see why people like people love Emil but I don't really get it again personally I I feel like I can more so understand where people are coming from with him because he does have some like endearing moments but they come so out of nowhere without any like sort of build up that I just find it hard to really care when it happens and yeah, so I, I, I don't get this either. I am not a fan. Uh, and then finally, Popla and Devola, who are kind of like, uh, they're kind of structured as these sort of mentor figures towards the main character, and they're, they're seemingly very knowledgeable. But to this point, I'm about 12 hours in, like I said, or maybe I didn't say that, I don't know. I, I'm about 12 hours in. Uh, at this point, 
I don't know why anyone listens to them because I don't know who they are. They are like, I guess it's sort of implied that they're the village elders or something. Like, it kind of like seem to be that sort of type because they talk, you know, for the village when they throw out Kainé and Emil or whatever. I, I just don't understand why the main character listens to these people. I don't know what who they are. They, they just kind of exist. And it's like, okay, well, uh, we're done with this, so let's go talk to Popola now, or whatever. And I don't know why. They seem to be friends, but I don't know. At the same time, that isn't really shown very clearly. So I don't know what's going on with these people. So yeah, uh, overall story, not very impressed. I don't like it. So then let's go over a bit of the gameplay. So I think the biggest problem I have with this game, uh, aside from the story so far, um, which, by the way, before I move on from that, uh, before y'all roast me in the comments, I'm sure, you know, there are going to be some moments out there later on that are going to be totally awesome, totally great, and it's going to make all the garbage worth it. But, uh, you know, I'm not there yet. And right now I'm bored. I'm just bored, out of my mind. Nothing in the story that's happening is interesting. Uh, none of the characters are interesting. I just don't care. And whether that is going to be the case for much longer or not, there is no denying that the first 12 hours of this game suck ass. They're bad. I, like, they are straight up like 4 out of 10. They're bad. Uh, and that is not helped by the combat. So, the combat is kind of a disaster, honestly. So, the combat is very, I don't know how to describe it really, the combat is very uh, one note, I guess you could say, and it's it's really shallow, which I am not like necessarily against having a shallow combat system because like, I don't know if y'all remember this, if y'all watched my top 10 or top 5, I think it was top 5 games of last year, I put like Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity at like number 2 on that list, where I'm like, that game is very simple, it's very easy to understand, but, uh, and it doesn't really change a whole lot, but the com like the, the, the progression in that game, it just feels good to mow down a bunch of enemies, get levels, get materials, level up all your characters, that feels good, and it feels like the difference it makes is tangible. You can clearly tell, like, hey, I'm doing more damage to these people now, or I'm you know, I have an extra special attack bar, or whatever, something like that. But in Nier, um, your co so, I guess, first off, your moveset never really changes. Your moveset stays the same, except for, like, the magic spells you obtain, uh, which you get, like, after, like, the first five to seven hours or something. Um, that's, like, all the magic you obtain, and once you've gotten that, you're done. That's it. That's all you're gonna get. And that is not necessarily a bad thing, but then like, you know, like in a Warriors game, you know, it, it's very simple, but the, the animations are flashy and the progression is very, uh, very satisfying. And Nier has none of these things. The, 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 the animations are very like run of the mill. They're not really anything special. They're like, well, I mean, the animations look good, but I, like, they are not very flashy to the point where I feel super satisfied when I pull off all these moves and stuff like that. There's no real combos between, like, heavy and light attacks, like in Automata. Uh, it's just kind of like, okay, you press the light attack button very often, or you press the heavy attack button very often, and then you have, like, two combos, and that's kind of it. And you have these different weapon types, but they all kind of achieve the same thing, so there's no real point in, you know, switching and not just sticking to what you like. There's not a lot of variety there. And the progression, so like aside from those magic spells that I just mentioned that you get over the course of the story, the progression is so minimal. It doesn't really feel like when you level up, it doesn't really feel like anything. You don't like get any skill points you get to allocate. Uh, you don't 
Like, I guess stats probably go up, but who knows at this point? I just find it hard to really grasp how I'm, like, how my actions are affecting, like, you know, my, my, my progression, my combat. I just felt this overwhelming sense of boredom while playing this combat. I, like, want, because, like, since your combos don't change and the progression isn't satisfi satisfying, the combat stays relatively the same throughout the entire game. And I don't know, this combat system is not good enough to not have anything else going on outside of that. So I'm really not a fan of that. Um, and then I guess the world exploration would be another thing. Uh, world exploration is like kind of a disaster as well. Kind of a running theme, I, I realize. But the, 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 the world exploration it just feels like you have this you have this huge map and like it would really greatly benefit from having uh you know like fast travel options at first there's no fast travel options you get that later on but i'm like why did that need to take so long why couldn't we just fast travel from the start i feel like that's something they could have addressed in the remake because this world is pretty big and while you get ways to traverse it more easily I don't know, I would have just preferred to have fast travel from the start and also be able to do it anywhere. Uh, because now you need to go to this fairy person and you like have to, uh, you know, jump through all these hoops to get fast travel, but I would have liked to just do it wherever I want and whenever I want. That even even more so because, I, I don't know if anyone else had this problem, but the quest markers in this game are just so bad. They never work. Every time, I have this quest and it tells me to go somewhere then it's telling me to go back where I just came from and then it's in like a completely different spot than it was before and I don't know what I'm doing wrong if I'm doing anything wrong or if it's like it's just a problem with the game but what the hell is up with these quest markers and that makes the exploring the world so much more uh, of a hassle and if you had fast travel that wouldn't really be as big of a deal because you could just go wherever you wanted and Early on, you don't have that. So when a quest marker is telling you to run to one side of the map, and then later on, it's telling you, oh, no, wait, no, once you're in that map, it's like, oh, oh wait, no, you have to go back and then go to the other side of the world, and that that's where you actually have to go. At that point, I was kind of like, what the, what the, what, what is happening? I just don't know. I am, I'm all, I'm, 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 I'm rambling, but... Those are kind of like all of the main points that I wanted to touch on. I'm sure there's stuff that I forgot to say. I've like, re like, well, okay, I rehearsed it wouldn't be the right word, but I've done this video like three times in my head now. But Nier Automata, first 12 hours, or Nier Automata, not Nier Automata, Nier Replicant, uh, version 1.2 to whatever, first 12 hours, pretty bad. Solid 4 out of 10. I am not very hooked on this pretty bad so uh you know take if you're planning to buy it uh i probably I, I spoiled a bunch of this stuff so uh you know if you're watching this you probably already have bought it you've probably already finished it you're probably already typing out your comments about you know how this game is actually the best thing ever made and it's like you know i'm totally wrong and uh here's why and like We'll see. We'll see. I mean, my opinion might change. I'm going to keep playing it to the end. But right now, you know, take that as you will. If you were interested in buying it, I don't think the first 12 hours at least are that good. Uh, I don't see that really changing for the next coming few hours as well. Maybe by the end of it, I'll sing a different tune. And if I do, then I'll make probably like a follow up video or maybe I'll make a scripted video at some point to kind of address that. But for now, I think I should just end it here. I think I've rambled on long enough. But um, yeah, so if you like this sort of style of content, more off the cuff, kind of me just on camera, kind of talking about stuff, uh, then be sure to uh, let me know down in the comments below. Also leave a like, obviously, if you enjoyed it. And yeah, with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. And maybe it'll be about near, maybe it'll be about something else. Uh, I have a video in the works that is probably going to come out pretty soon. So uh, a scripted video. So I hope you look forward to that. So with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, well, bye.